Hi everyone, I'm Callie Lee, and today we're making a truly Caribbean dish from codfish or saltfish. Today we're going to be making frizzled saltfish. If you like codfish or saltfish, I encourage you to look over here, see one of the other recipes that I did buljow, and you can try that. That is also a terrific side dish. But the one we're doing today pairs well with a starch, either rice or potatoes or breadfruit really good with bread food. So now let's go over the ingredients. We have half pound of salt fish or codfish. Now I would have boiled it twice first for about 10 minutes to remove that extra bit of salt that we have on the outside. Then once it cooled, I would have used my fingers to frizzle it out. If you don't want to use your fingers, you can use a fork, but it always works much better if you use your hands and just frizzle the salt fish so it has no form at all half pound of salt fish. We have one onion chopped. Now we need to have all the ingredients chopped. We don't want onion rings or, or anything like that. We want them to be chopped finely because the star of this dish is the salt fish. So we want all of our ingredients to be chopped finely. One clove of garlic also chopped. One tablespoon of Bajan seasoning though. If you can't remember how to make Bajan seasoning, I will also link the video in the icons above and also in the description below so you can see how to make this Bajan seasoning. Our spices, we have one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of oregano, and one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. We have one small sweet pepper, orange one chopped. If you have a green or yellow, any color, you can use that, but I'm using the orange one today. We have three tablespoons of ketchup and oil for sauteing. Now, our first step is to heat our pan. Once it's nice and hot, we're gonna add our oil for sauteing. And once that is nice and hot, we're gonna saute everything together. Then we're gonna add water. This is really simple. It takes basically one step. Add our onions. You hear that sizzle? We're gonna add our sweet pepper. Oh, you can smell it already. Oh, we're gonna turn the stove down. We don't want it to be too hot. And then we're gonna add our garlic. Garlic is so aromatic. When you add garlic to anything, you can absolutely smell it. We're gonna just saute it for, oops, for a couple of seconds. Onions become a little translucent. Then I'm going to add the frizzled salt fish right away. We're going to add the salt fish. We're not going to take too long. So the salt fish, the onion, and the sweet pepper will all just cook together. Once we mix them up, like I said, it's one step. Then I'm going to add the spices. Add them all in there. We're gonna add our bacon seasoning. Oh, it smells so good. Get it all mixed in. We're gonna add our ketchup. And then allow it to simmer once we add the water. So we're gonna add the ketchup. This is really a one pot. Then we're going to add the water. Now we're not going to put too much water in. Now we're making a nice sauce. And we'll allow it to simmer for about, for a few minutes. Our frizzle salt fish is done. It looks amazing. Now it's time to taste. Our frizzled salt fish is done. It smells so good. This is perfect for some type of rice dish. All right, like I said, it always goes well with red fruit. Here in the Caribbean, we always eat frizzled salt fish with red fruit, but you can use any kind of starch. Now, let's taste.
So delicious, so very good. And you get that nice crunch you get from the sweet pepper and the onion, which you would have chopped, but you can still taste it. Really good. If you don't have a starch like rice or potatoes or breadfruit, you can even use regular biscuits and eat this. This, it is that good. And don't forget, you need to get some cucumber, avocado, and it is a perfect dish. Frizzled saltfish? No, you need to fry it. Frizzled saltfish? No, you need to try it. If you have enjoyed this frizzled saltfish recipe, I want you to look over here. See another saltfish recipe that I would have done. And once you have tried that, you can click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. Remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.